Hi, this video will be explaining routing tables and how to use a routing table. So this is a routing table. If you load one up on your computer, this is likely what it will look like. There are several different columns in a routing table, including destination, network mask, gateway, interface, metric, and protocol. In the example I'll be doing later on in the video, I use different columns. However, the same basic idea is the same and I think the example I used, the table, is a little bit easier to understand than this one. So this is a visual representation of a router and how to use a routing table. So the frog represents a packet, the lily pad represents a router, the pond represents a subnet, and the toadstool represents a destination. So the frog wants to go to its home, the toadstool, and it is on the lily pad that is connected to the pond that the toadstool is on. So the frog can easily go home from this router. However, there are different situations. So in this example, we have the same setup, basically, except that the toadstool is in a different pond, and the pond is not connected to the lily pad. So the frog needs to jump from one lily pad to the other, and it will jump from this lily pad to this lily pad to get to its destination. So these are just two of the scenarios that can occur with packets and routers. And in the next slide, I'll be doing a much more in-depth example. So in this slide, we have the same basic setup. However, the toadstool is gone. We don't know where it is. There's no visual representation. So we have to figure it out through a routing table. However, what we do know crucially is the frog's destination IP address, which is 128.156.40.12. So we look at the routing table for router A. This is the routing table for router A. And in the first row we see we have the default row. So the default row is used when none of the other rows, the networks, uh, none of the other networks in any of the other rows match the destination. So it's kind of like a backup plan. So we send the frog or we use the network slash subnet 0.0.0.0, the same mask. And the router we use is arbitrary. It is kind of decided by the router uh, or decided by whoever set up the router. And in this example, we have a metric of one, which I will explain. So the metric of one, we get that by using how many steps it takes to get the router B. And in this example, the frog needs to hop one time to get to router B. So the metric is one. And we use interface two. Interface The interfaces are the different ports on the router. And in this example, it can be the different sides of the lily pad, if that's how you want to think about it. So let's look at the other rows and see if we have any matches. So in row number two, we have 128.156.20.0 slash 24. And we have a mask of 255.255.255.0 slash 24. If we apply that mask to the frog's destination, we get 128.156.40.0. And if we look at the network slash subnet, we realize that this does not match. This is a 20 and not a 40, so we can't use row number two. So if we look at row number three, it's very similar to the other one, except for this time we have a network of 128.156.40.0, and we have the same mask. So if we apply the same mask again, we get 128.156.40.0. And if we look at row number three, that does match. These That does match the network slash subnet. So row, row three is good, it's a match. Let's check the other rows. So row number four, we get 128.156.0.0 slash 16 with a mask of 255.255.0.0 slash 16. And if we apply that mask here, we get 128.156.0.0. So this one does match as well. So rows three and four match. How about row number five? So for row number five, we have 128.156.45.0 slash 24. The same mask as rows two and three. Apply that mask, you get 128.156.40.0. And it does not match. This is 45. So those two do not match. So we have row number three and row number four. Now, which one do we use? That is a big question. And it's a pretty logical answer. You just use whichever one has the longest match in the network. So for this one, it'd be row number three, since that matches 
that matches longer than the row and row number four. There are more specific numbers here. And that pretty much sums up a routing table. It's as simple as that. Uh, send the packet to this network. It is a local network, so we don't need to hop anywhere. We don't need to change routers. And we use interface two. And since we don't hop anywhere, it has a metric of zero. And that explains a routing table very briefly, very simply, but hopefully it helps you understand. And uh, thank you for watching.